Okay, so this tutorial is for people who are just learning how to use the terminal, whether you're doing it in OSX, you're doing it in Linux, you're doing it in BSD, Unix, basically anything that was made from the Unix system is going to have this terminal, and the commands I'm going to show you are pretty well universally used. So like I said, OSX and Linux are probably the two most people will be using. It can be used with other things. So to get started with, you have right in front of you basic flashing terminal. You got the little flashing prompt. So where are you in the terminal? Where are you on your system? Command PWD. Type PWD in, press enter. It tells you this is the directory I'm in. Before I get started, what a directory is. Since most people are familiar with Windows, you can think of it as a folder. A directory and a folder are very similar. For our purposes today, pretend like they're the same thing. It'll make it easier to learn. So, PWD shows where you are in the directory. What PWD stands for is Present Working Directory. PWD, Present Working Directory. Obviously, mine right here is in the slash home slash unity directory. Now in any Unix system the forward slash is called root. Root is the top directory at the top of the hierarchy. You can't get anything above root. So most for now all of our commands as far as moving through the hierarchy will have be referenced to root. What that means is it'll start with the forward slash. So our first question how do you change directories? That's fairly simple. The command is CD. You type CD, then you enter the directory after it. But the easy way to remember why it's CD stands for change directory. CD, change directory. It's fairly simple, fairly straightforward. So if we want to go to root, the very base directory, CD forward slash. As I said, the forward slash is root. CD forward slash root. As you can see right here, we're now in root. So, the next question, how do you show what's in the directory? Command is ls. Easy way to remember this, ls is short for list. That may not be the exact translation of it, but for me personally, that's the easiest way to remember it. Once you type it five times, you probably won't have to think about it anymore. You'll be using a lot. So, let's show what's inside the root directory. ls enter. Everything you see here, these are directories. Now, in different distributions, they may be colored differently. I'm showing you this in Arch Linux. Arch Linux colors directories blue. Sometimes they'll color different things, different colors. A lot of times green means executable. Sometimes gray or black just shows us as file. So, ls list. We listed what was inside the root directory. Now, let's say we wanted to move into, down here we have the USR directory. So it would be CD forward slash USR. Press enter, and as you can see here, we are now in the USR directory. Once again, what's in it? LS for list, enter. These are the directories inside the USR. Now let's say we want to move inside of one of those. Once again, it's CD. LIB. Now, as you noticed, there is no forward slash here. Since we are already inside the USR directory, if we are referencing another directory within that one, we do not have to start with the forward slash. We can just type CD LIB, enter, and now we are in the LIB directory. But LIB directory is within the USR directory. To show this, we go back to PWD, present working directory, enter. We are inside root, inside USR, inside lib. So, I've told you how to get into the directories. Let me talk you back out of it. That would be cd space dot dot. What this does is it backs you up one directory. Since we are in the lib directory, the dot dot will take us up to the USR directory. If I press enter, as you can see, USR. If I do cd dot dot again, we're back to root. You can also do this, let's say cd slash usr slash lib. You can go straight to it. You don't have to do one at a time. You can skip over. That's really useful moving into folders and directories quickly. 
Once again, if you are in the LIB folder and you want to go all the way back to root, you can just CD four slash for root. We're going back to root. You can either directly reference where you want to go or you can dot dot your way back to it. You'll find that after a while, you'll know when you want to do which. If you want to go up just one dot dot, if you want to completely change directories, typing in the path is about the easiest way to go. Now, for moving through directories, that's a basis of what you need to work in the terminal. I've showed you how to go into, I've showed you how to come out of, I've showed you how to list what's in it. So for review, ls list cd change directory. I spelled that wrong. pwd present working directory. I cannot type. That is not presenting. Present. Those are the basic three commands I've showed you here. It's very basic for working in the terminal, but they're three commands that come in very useful. You will not use PWD very much in the future, but as you're just learning, it's good to give you a point of reference is where you are.